Jay's. Welcome to Jay's East and More. Yeah, I am driving right now, but I'm still recording. Yes. Anyways, what is going on on the YouTube screen, baby? I know I heard what I heard, honey. Honey, let me tell y'all something about old Cooter Roll. For the one that don't know who Cooter Roll is, her name is Sin City. That's what they call her. Sin City. I wasn't even going to say nothing about this situation at hand, but I had to. Because she keeps coming out, poking the bear at certain people when nobody really wasn't even worried about her. She wanted attention. And now she's saying that everybody else want attention, but she the one came out on the scene saying that she was want attention because she need her bruise to go up for the holidays, which that backfired on her. It didn't work. <clears throat> she might have made like what? I don't know how many bruises she got on it, whatever. But hey, she bought this on herself. She bought it on herself. Now she up there talking about oh. Yeah, who gonna who gonna do this to her? Who gonna do that to her? Y'all ain't gonna come to Memphis. You gotta be careful what you say. But I know one day it won't be me because it, you ain't even worth that, and your husband not either. So, with that being said, you gotta be careful because you got to remember people do know your face, and then you wanna get up here and talk shit. Talking about you don't care who come and who leave, and the way you talk to your subscribers and your supporters. I might leave this and that girl please you wanted all the crap now the people talking about it. they talking about what you said and what you bought onto the youtube what you wanted you said you were looking for attention so now that you got the attention now you mad about it make your mind up because i'm confused you are lost in the sauce and i think you lost in that hot sauce because you trying to mark up off your in-law trying to make some sauce but anyway that's another story you said you were looking for attention boo now that people are talking about it and reacting to your video now that you came out with it and said it was a prank but now you mad at the wrong god dang people you shouldn't be mad with nobody with no one this is what you wanted this is what you got And that's all I'm going to have to say on that part because at the end of the day, you want attention focused on you and talking about you trying to um get somebody bruised on stuff, trying to be nice. No. You want the crowd. They didn't come for you. You came on here with the bull crap. I'm talking about they took the bait. Nobody ain't took no bait at all. What bait? Because apparently the bait failed. The goddamn fish did not even bite the goddamn hook. So, it didn't work. It didn't work out the way that you planned it to work out. You wanted to bring your husband into some drama. When you say he is not with the drama, but you with the drama. You said you with the drama. You been saying that years ago. Now, all of a sudden, when people come on here and talk about it, you get mad. Get out your feelings. Get out your feelings, boo. Which one you want? You want positive or you want negative? Which one is it? Which one is going to be? Or you want to be warm, lukewarm? Huh? You want to be lukewarm? One minute you said you're a good person, then the next minute you're talking about, oh, y'all don't know who I am. Girl, like you the only person, like you don't know who other people are either. Sometimes it's best to quit, keep your goddamn mouth quiet. Y'all, I'm talking too fast. Yes, I am. I sure am. Because I can do that. Because I can. Like a lot of people say, because I can. Yeah, that part. But like old Kudro was saying, oh, y'all jealous, jealous of what and for what? First of all, you got a husband of a man slash boy. You came after her. Thought you were gonna blow up on the YouTube and you didn't and fell and backfired on you. Now he had to get out and work a 12 hour shift because you thought YouTube was gonna blow up just because of who his sister 
is. But you supposed to be all this and that. But you had to get on the internet to look for a man. And ain't nothing wrong with, with following in love with somebody on the internet. But you ain't in love, baby. You ain't in love. You might have love for him, but you is not in love. You living just like we living. Trying to make it day by day. And for anyone that try to marry into a family just because of what somebody else sibling have is a plum ass fool. A fool. Because what they got don't mean you gonna have it. That woman got a whole life of her own. You think she just gonna come up and give you money? No, it don't work like that. You think she just gonna give it to her brother like that? No, it don't work like that. Because he is able to get up and do what he needs to do. But you thought, like a lot of people saying, you thought you were going to ride that man. God dang coattail. They didn't say it in that way, but I'm saying it. You wanted a come up. You wanted to come up, but baby, it fell down. The come up went down. Because at the end of the day, before you even met old Walter Tino, you was living in an apartment, and ain't nothing wrong with it because ain't nothing as long as you got a roof up your head. But at the end of the day, you didn't have none of that of what you have right now until you met old Walter Senior. You might have had it back in the day when you always talking about, oh, you used to do, you own this, you own that. Nah, don't bring that up. What about now? What about before you even met him? What about before you even met him? Because when you first met him, girl, your hair was looking a hot mess. You didn't wear all them braids. He bought you up. He was your come up for real in certain situations. Because when you first came onto the scene, that hair that you had in your head was dry, fried, and laid to the side. Now, I might, I must admit that you had lost a little weight since that first video that you came onto the scene with, with you on him was sitting on the couch when you lied, talking about, oh, he bought you a puppy. Nah, you didn't buy, he didn't buy that puppy. You did it. The one that you had now, oh, yeah, yeah. You was a liar. You was a compulsive liar. That's why nobody would not believe you. Certain ones, the Sin Cities, will believe it. And talking about, oh, he works the ground I walk on. I doubt that very much so. No. Don't never speak that up on a man. Because, baby, come on, oh, he ain't going nowhere. Oh, he love me. Oh, he, he'll do this and that. Whatever I say, I can't tell. I can't tell. Don't never brag on a damn man. Talking about what they would not do. What they'll do and what they won't do. Come on, let me tell you. I don't give a damn who it is. Put your trust in no man. That goes for the women's too. And that goes for the men's too. But anyway, on that other subject, she is pathetic. She wants attention. She with the shits. She with the drama. She with the mess. But she always get offended when somebody talking about it. She always get offended. Why? Why you get offended? Why you get so upset? Come on, nobody can't tell you what to do. So therefore, you can't tell nobody else what to do. When you up on your platform and you bring content to your own channel, but you you get mad about what other people put on their channel. It don't work like that. It don't work like that because people going to talk about what they want to talk about. And for whoever you mad with, honey, you, you should have said that like a grown-ass woman. I'm pretty sure that you had her number. I'm pretty sure you could have got in touch with Melissa. 